hi welcome to tips and tricks today we are going to see about bearings so there are two types of bearings available one is whole circle bearing the other one is quadrantal bearing whole circle bearing is also called as azimuthal reading quadrantal bearing is called as reduced bearing in whole circle bearing we have our magnetic north and every angle is measured with respect to magnetic north only say uh, if it is going to be in my first quadrant it is theta 1 measured from north and if it is going to be in my second third or fourth in any quadrant it is going to be measured only from my north my magnetic or my true meridian north this is whole circle bearing let me give an example if your answer is 60 degrees then uh, your uh, whole circle bearing will be something like this 60 degree if it is 120 degree it will be something like this 120 degree and so on if it is going to be 280 degree to 80 degree and so on because uh, we are going to measure only with respect to our north and this is also called uh, called as the zero degree when we come for quadrantal bearing uh, it is slightly different here we measure the angles with respect to both north and south if the uh, angle uh, lies in any of these two quadrants we will measure it with respect to north if it lies in any of these two quadrants we will measure it with respect to south for example if it is going to be theta degree our uh, answer is not going to be uh, just uh, in this case if it is 60 degree we would have just written 60 degree but whereas in quadrantal bearing it is going to be uh, north 60 degrees east which means that it is in the north but it is inclined to an angle of 60 degree towards east the same is applicable for this quadrant uh, it is in south but it is this much degrees alpha degrees inclined towards east the same for other two quadrants so if we are going to write this uh, in quadrantal bearing it will be our 60 degree will be uh, something like is 60 degrees right so uh, in quadrantal bearing we will represent it as north 60 degrees this is north west east south north 60 degrees east and our 120 will be like uh, south we have to measure this distance here this is one something important you have to keep in mind you have to measure this distance not this distance so uh, this is 90 degree uh, this is 30 so this is going to be 60 degrees so you will uh, represent 120 degrees as south 60 degrees towards east and here uh, this one is measured as uh, this is in north so it is north and this will be 80 degrees north 80 degrees towards west so giving a quick problem uh, convert 220 degrees to quadrantal bearing and convert north 20 degrees west to whole circle bearing and uh, something you have to keep in mind is whole circle bearing is also called as azimuthal reading quadrantal bearing is also called as reduced bearing uh, they might ask the question as convert this to uh, convert this much to azimuthal reading or reduced bearing uh, so you have to understand uh, you have to keep in mind that azimuthal reading is nothing but whole circle bearing uh, you should not confuse these two things uh, the uh, for quadrantal bearing reduced bearing is uh, uh, self explanatory uh, so what trick i kept in mind is uh, whole circle bearing so whole starts with w and azimuthal uh, it starts with a so in w we have an a so that is how i kept it in mind another thing you have to keep in mind is whole circle bearing is always measured using a prismatic compass whereas quadrantal bearing is measured using a surveyor's compass uh, another uh, here also you might 
be having it difficult to remember it. So the trick I kept here is QS. Uh, QS which is uh, quantity surveying. We had a lab called quantity surveying in my college years. So I kept that as my uh, clue. You can use your own clues. So coming to the problem. 220 degrees as quadrantal bearing and north 20 degrees west to whole circle bearing. Uh, this is a simple problem it is 220 degrees so uh, roughly put and see where this comes uh, this is your 0 90 180 270 and again 360 220 is somewhere here uh, 180 plus 40 degrees will give you 220 so it is going to be here so this is 40 degrees this is nothing but south 40 degrees towards west this is our 220 degree in uh, quadrantal bearing now uh, convert north 20 degrees west to whole circle bearing this is going to be easy north this is a west east north 20 deg degrees towards west so this is something like this 20 degrees so well, all you have to do is find this this is nothing but 360 minus 20 degrees which is nothing but 340 degrees this is our answer in whole circle bearing this is our answer in quadrantal bearing so thank you so much for watching guys please do like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video bye